pattern of light, that light was created by God. 1 John 1, verse 5, it said that God is light, and in him is no darkness at all. So, so many of the adverse things that are happening in your life are uh, many times uh, from, uh, uh, come from our own lust and, and our own inclinations to sin and, and things that we've done for ourselves. But it's literally saying that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. Actually, the title of the Lord Jehovah means that he's the, uh, he is the, he's the God of immutable faithfulness. That he said that he's not changed. That God is going to be faithful. Now, I was thinking about where he, you know, I, I say all the time that God isn't fair, uh, uh, but he's, he's always faithful. Uh, fair is a subjective term. What's fair to me may be me winning the ball game, but what may be fair to the other team is them winning the ball game. So fairness is subjective to the person's eyes or the person's perception that it may come from. But when we talk about faithfulness, that God is going to do just what he said. That God said he's going to be, he's the same God for me that he was for the sages of old. That if I do what people in the Bible did, God is literally telling me that I'm going to get what people in the Bible got. The scriptures declare that God is not a respectable person. So he's the same God for me that he was for the sages of old. So the same way that he delivered people out of fiery furnace, the same way that he delivered people out of the lion's den, that God's so capable of de delivering me from a den of people that are lying on me, that he can take me through the fiery trials that come at me from each and every direction. I'm still talking about the Father of life. Uh, literally, he's saying that God isn't subject to any of the changes that we are, that God is, is, God simply is, that God pulls off everything from the table of change, that change is never, uh, 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 although a campaign was won recently talking about change, that no one, that God is never leading a campaign called change, that God can change your life, but he's the same God that he was in the Holy Rift. He's the same God that he was a million years ago. He's the same God that he'll be uh, forever and ever and ever, that he's the same God over and over. Still talking about the Father of life. Said that God is eternally the same, and God is always the same. God isn't subject to your circumstances. The goodness of God will reign regardless of your circumstances. That there's no bad economy that can catch God. That there's no tight spot that can catch God. There's no bad year or bad time that can catch God. God's word will simply work no matter what. David said, I've been young and now I'm old, and I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. What I'm talking to you right now is the chain of me, and I just grabbed it up for talking about the Father of life, that God can prosper you no matter what the times may be. God can prosper you no matter what the prognosticators are saying. God can make you flourish in a so-called tough economy because God's word actually stands no matter what comes. So he's talking about God not being subject to circumstances. I will, you know, if we look at the day that we're living, we're living in rapidly changing times. When I was young, we had pretty women and hardworking men. Well, now we have so many more pretty men and so, so many more hardworking women. When I was young, a group of young boys would be scared to walk through a group of grown men. Nowadays, a group of grown men are scared to 